Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. I'm Mandy. Today we're making Chaozhou style five spice roll. It is popular in southeast coastal cities in China as well as some Southeast Asian countries. What's special about it is that the wrapper is made with tofu skin. It contains lots of plant-based protein. It is delicate and slightly translucent. Check the fridge section in your local Asian grocery store and see if you can get some. I don't know any replacement, but this is a roll, so you can use a spring roll or egg roll wrapper as a replacement. Of course, the texture will be slightly different. As for now, set the tofu skin aside. Let's make the filling first. You will need one pound of pork. Roughly cut it into bite-sized chunks. This recipe usually is made with pork belly, but I think that is too fatty. You can use pork shoulder. What I have here is the end part of the pork loin, so it's actually not too lean. Transfer the meat into a food processor. Use on and off mode to blend the pork roughly. Don't grind the meat too fine because I want to keep the meat texture. If you don't have a food processor, you can use store-bought ground pork. The texture will be slightly different, but the taste will still be delicious. Transfer the pork into a big mixing bowl. Cracking one large size egg. Add two tablespoons of minced garlic. One tablespoon of minced ginger. One tablespoon of soy sauce. 1 tablespoon of fish sauce, 1 teaspoon of salt, and 1 teaspoon of 5 spice powder. You can get it in almost any Asian market. If you don't have it, you can check this video to learn how to make your own. Continue by adding half tablespoon of fish powder. This is a special Chaozhou seasoning, which is made from flounder. You can check this video to learn how to make your own. It is packed with a pungent umami taste, which adds a strong characteristic to this dish. I know you're probably going to ask me, I don't have it. Can I skip it? Well, that's a question that puzzles me all the time whenever I make this traditional Chinese food. Technically, you can skip it, but you are also losing a touch of local spirit. Here is a quarter cup of sweet potato starch. It binds the filling together and provides a slight bouncy gelatinous texture. If you don't have sweet potato starch, you can use tapioca starch. Stir the filling within one direction for a few minutes until the meat becomes sticky. Set it aside for now. This is jicama, also known as Spanish turnip. We call it sha Peel the skin and dice it finely. It tastes almost like a water chestnut. Sweet, crunchy, and juicy. I bought this from Walmart, so I assume this is widely available. However, if you don't have it, you can use water chestnut, carrot, or daikon radish. Add the hikama to the meat. Here are four scallions. Discard the root and the top green part. We only need the white part. Dice it finely. Add it to the meat. Mix and stir within one direction until well combined. Your filling is done. Set it aside. Now we can get back to the tofu skin. This package comes with 7 to 8 sheets and they are very big. We only need two to three sheets for this recipe. Since I am cutting it right now, I'll just cut all of them so I don't need to work on it next time. Some of the pieces have holes on them. That is completely fine. Once you roll it over, the holes will be covered. Put some filling on one side of the tofu skin. Use two little spatulas to shape it into a long log. Roll it over and slightly dab some water on the rest of the sheet. 
roll up the rest and pack it tight. When you put it aside, be sure to tack the end under. This recipe is enough to make 8 to 10 rolls. You just continue to finish the rest. When the tofu skin is dry, it feels like plastic. But after you let it sit for a while, the moisture will soften it. Now we can pinch both ends roughly, just so the filling is not exposed. Heat the oil to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Add the five spice rolls one by one. You can pan fry or shallow fry them if you want to use less oil. I just happen to have a full wok of oil that I used yesterday. Be sure to keep the heat at low or medium low. Do not fry them on high heat because the tofu skin burns quickly. Some people will steam the meat rolls first and deep fry them later, but I think that is too many steps. All you need to do is to control the heat at low and don't burn the outside before the inside gets cooked. This will take about 8 to 10 minutes. And you're done. Take them out. Mmm, they look like sausages. <laughs> you can also think of them like egg rolls, but gluten-free. I'm going to slice one diagonally. Wow, nice and juicy. I can smell the five spice and fish powder. Serve with your favorite chili sauce. I'm using sriracha. Just listen to this. Mmm, so crispy. The meat is very flavorful, and the hikama gives a fresh crunch. This is beyond delicious. You can serve it as an appetizer or a side dish. You can also top it on top of noodle soup and congee. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, you can click the link in the description and find the printable recipe. Thank you for watching. This video is sponsored by Souped Up Recipes Carbon Steel Wok. This is the wok that I'm selling and I am proud to recommend it to you as I have been using it on my channel for years. It is lightweight, it responds to heat changes quickly and evenly. It can also sustain the super high temperature without damage, perfect for wok cooking. If you want to buy it, the link is in the description, go check it out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!